Welcome back. Dear sir, it is my pleasure as the secretary of the very exclusive and particular esoteric club of Miskatonic University to inform you that your name has been put forward as a welcome addition to our illustrious club. The esoteric club of Miskatonic has determined on the moderate sum of a hundred pounds to be paid annually by all affiliates. As you may be aware, our club is proud to have in its possession a rare collection of phylacteries, amulets, fetishes, and other valuable antiques of the esoteric persuasion. And with your help, we hope to expand our collection even further. In consideration of so generous a gift from your side, we will offer you a space in our monthly journal to publish any article penned by yourself that you may wish to present to the world. And of course, we shall be sincerely obliged to you. We earnestly hope you will not have any objections to meeting our humble requests. Kindest regards, Gustav von Nachschatten, Secretary. Oh, wow. At last, a chance to publish one of my essays, and for no less than the very exclusive and particular esoteric club of Miskatonic. I simply have to find a really astonishing object. Something downright magical. The hundred pounds are not a problem. I'm sure I have some money flying about the place. Of course, I cannot at this moment recall where exactly. And I think I have just the thing for this journal. One of my early treatises will do very well and can be the first of a long series of releases. I believe I must have left it somewhere in these shelves. Ah, after all these years of study, all my efforts will finally be rewarded. This is a nice intro. Okay, let's see what I can find here. I bought it off a gypsy in the Carpathians. With it, one can see into the future. But so far, I've only been able to see snow raining over an ostrich and a sign reading, I went to Bistritz and I had a great time. This is a truly obscure metaphor that I haven't been able to crack as of yet. This is a demo, I want to check the settings here, of the game that is, as you can see, on Kickstarter. And it is also on Steam Greenlight. So, I wanted to check it out. It's a point-and-click game. If you look deeply into it, you will see the one who lurks in the dark. I have attempted this, but woe. I have only succeeded in glimpsing the one weary of staring into a crystal. I am not yet prepared to look beyond the veil. I am not prepared. <laughs> ah, okay, what about this? This is an intriguing piece. A carving of Anubis, the Egyptian god of death. And yet, it's made in China. Everything is connected. It's just an ornament, really. No need to take it with me. Okay, the controls work well. I like the voice acting. Okay. It's just an ornament, really. No need to take it with me. I wanted to check to make sure it was recording. This is the skull of an old Apache chief. It's nothing special, really. I don't need it. If you look deeply into it, you will see the one who lurks in the dark. I have attempted this, but woe. I have only succeeded in glimpsing the one weary of staring into a crystal. I am not yet prepared to look beyond the veil. Well, I cannot yet say for sure that this is a truly magical object. Now if I can just solve the puzzle. <laughs> My or make headway. With all the classics, spiritism, divination, demonology, paganism, centeria, voodoo, kabbalah, black magic, white magic, magic of a brownish color, it's all here. But no trace of the essay I wish to send to the club. That's unfortunate, but at least it told me this it's is not a Mesoamerican the... flute. A slave would spend an entire lunar year playing it amid orgies and bacchanalias until, at the climax of the ritual, his heart was torn from his breast and offered to the Tezcatlipoca deity. Not a pleasant oh. way to end a party, I admit, but at least he avoided the hangover. Oh my. No, I do not think this is of any use to me now. <laughs> okay. 
Let's try these. My aunt, Lady Wilhelmina Ainsworth. She was a pioneer of the women's rights movement. Mary Wollstonecraft once said of her, her ideas are inspiring, but I doubt she will be able to find a husband. Wow, what a diss. No, I'm afraid Auntie Willie can't help me now. My uncle, Lord Rupert Ainsworth. Everyone says there is a strong family resemblance between us. He moved in very genteel circles, at least up until a violent incident occurred, apparently caused by a disagreement about the color of a neckerchief, which ended with him expectorating on George Brummel's face. After this, of course, he was banished from society, and he regretted the affair until his death. Coincidentally, he later came to be known as a precursor in chic casual dress, and is now regarded as one of the notables in our ancestry. What a story. Ah, truth be told, he could easily be mistaken for me. Whoop! My grandfather on my, way. on my father's side, Lord Edward. The black sheep of the family, he devoted his time to science instead of letters. Although it must be said that he did keep the family tradition, failing resoundingly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Confound it! The visor seems to be stuck. I cannot open it. Why am I not surprised? Aha! Now I remember. This is where I stashed a bag of coins for an emergency. It is better to keep temptation away from Nigel. I have already seen him pecking at leftovers a few times. The complete protection for medieval men. No, the castle is not as dangerous as all that. So the helmet is the key. Once upon a time, these were candles, but they have been consumed by time, and all that's left is this deformed mass of sticky wax. Blazes, that burns! Okay, I'm making progress. These wrought steel candelabrum provide good atmospheric lighting. I have advised Nigel to leave the spiderwebs be, as I feel they contribute to the ambiance as well. The feng shui of this room is good as it is. Hmm. This is a reproduction of an Egyptian ceremonial dagger. Not very valuable, but rather attractive. Well, can the dagger open up Careful the helm? Now. It is very sharp. Sweet. Just some common ink. Almost dried up now. I remember once a Greek sailor tried to sell me some ink from a kraken. Ha! Huh. What a fool he must have thought me. Everyone knows the Mediterranean Sea is much too warm for those creatures. All right, what about Lighting this? With your finger will just not do. I'm no barbarian. This feather looks like it could be from just about any bird, but in fact it is from a dodo bird and was brought for me all the way from the Mauritius Islands. At last, my arm is complete again. What could I do with ah, a feather? How stimulating my research is. How inspired my prose. Someday it will raise me unto immortal fame. But today is not that day. The time is not yet ripe for me to present my magnum opus to the masses. Oh, let's try the teapot. Awesome and lovely. The water is still warm. Oh, the teapot can do the ink. I'll take the teapot. It could be useful. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Warm water has diluted the dried out ink and given it a new lease on life. Magnificent. Now what? Huh. Oh, well, let's put the feather back. Obviously, we gotta write something. Perfect. Now the ink is usable. Now to use it. On what exactly? I don't have anything to use it on. Huh? Okay, the journey continues. Search, I, I mean. I purchased this off an old peddler who said it contained a gin. I do believe it must be a particularly dense and greasy gin. The oil. Sickeningly oily. Can open the helm. This was an unexpected present from a tooth and homeless man who approached me on the streets of London. He said it would grant me three wishes. He also muttered something else about destiny. But I wasn't really paying attention. 
The fact is, I asked to be admitted to the very exclusive and particular esoteric club of Miskatonic University and the wish has come true. Its power has been irrefutably proven, for it has granted me that wish. This is the perfect magical object to send to my future friends at the club. Woo! Two down, one to go. My great collection, with all the classics, spiritism, divination, demonology, but no trace of the essay I wish to send to the club. When in need of inspiration, I sit and watch the fire. Maybe it can also work for material things. That sounds like a clue! Facts and factotums of mysticism and spiritualism in and around the region of Groldavia. Ah, one of my very first essays on this delightful and little-known land. I published it myself. That profligate butler must have used it to kindle the fire, or to avoid going outside and braving the gales to cut up some wood. Clearly, I am not draconian enough when dealing with the hell. Plastic hole. The portrait I had commissioned for the cover is charred too, as is my signature. I cannot possibly send it to the exclusive occult club in this state. I have a portrait. So that's it. That's all the pieces. Huh. And now, with a flourish, I sign my name. Lord Alastair Ainsworth. Or at least I think it's all the pieces. Um. That wax. That does out. not make any sense at all. Yes, it does. On a scale of one to five of increasingly absurd things I could do right now, this one must be a seven. Oh, maybe I need to take the frame. Fiddly and not too strenuous manual labor is one of my many specialties. Woo! Okay. Lovely. If I can get a hold of a portrait to stick on this, I will be all set. I can't believe that actually worked. Perfect. The portrait and cover has been restored. Now it is indeed worthy of being sent to the club. So the only thing left is the money. Okay. Ah, <sighs> so we have to go back to the helm. Palace, That's the only thing. Goddess left. of wisdom and great influence on my work. I got it pretty cheap off an antique dealer, only because some feathered creature had decided to empty its bowels while flying over it. Nigel gave it a scrubbing, and here it is. Good as new. I would love to take it with me to guide and protect me, but I am afraid it is exceedingly heavy. The illustrious remote University of Miskatonic, with the consent of its dean and board of directors, hereby grant the degree of Scholar of Occultism and Theosophical Studies to Alistair Ainsworth, with all that this honor entails. Okay, I just wanted to check and make sure before I walk all the way over to the other side. Well, I have lubricated it. That helps. Now it needs a little push. The letter opener. Aha! This is more than enough to pay for those paltry inscription fees. That's it! Solve the puzzle! Nothing can stand in the way of my membership. I shall instruct Nigel to post this right away, and then... Fame and glory shall be mine! <laughs> this is really cute. We hope you have found this little demo game entertaining. It is but a little sample of what we are planning to do. We have it all thought out. If you enjoyed it and you want to sink your teeth into the old The Weird Story game, do not forget to support our campaign and to tell all your friends about it. You can access the project from right here. And of course, you are cordially invited to follow our progress through our blog and social media. Thank you very much for your time, dear friends. I feel sure we shall meet again. Glimpse each other through a screen.
or maybe meet inside your nightmares. <laughs> this was very nicely done. I um, am glad that I played this demo. I will have links in the description, so if you want to check it out or contribute, you can do so. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Let's me know whether you liked it or not. Links for everything else is in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next one.